Hmm. Yes. Welcome to Seattle Makers Podcast. Yay. Three point oh. Right. Three. This is either three or four. Somewhere in there. I think it's four. Yet another iteration. Unspecified. Yeah. Why, so why are you wearing headphones that don't have batteries in them? I don't know. I, I, I had 30 seconds to think of an opening bit, so <laughs> right. I grabbed something off the board. Yeah, and we missed Halloween, so <laughs> there you go. Actually, yeah, I actually didn't dress up for Halloween. My significant other dressed up as a squid. Nice. Last year I came to Makerspace an hour before Halloween, laser cut a sword, and cut a piece of tablecloth <laughs> we just had a sheet for a tablecloth and was the uh, dreaded pirate roberts oh it's uh it's about the quickest costume you can make pirates are always like good costumes because pretty much you can just take anything and make sure it looks like ratty enough yeah yeah it's busy projects so, we got projects and stuff happening in community health and everything this week yeah we do uh projects well, this is one of my favorite projects, actually. Um, instead of a regular old clipboard, this is, we called it the flipboard. Flip. Flipboard, get it? Are you married to uh, children, Jeremy? <laughs> no. Anyone? <laughs> uh, so this is actually tethered here so it doesn't just fly away. And this has some really strong magnets that are embedded into the wood and they're completely hidden so you can't even tell they're there until they hit metal. So we, uh, we took some, we we're looking around for thin pieces of metal and took some old used razor blades hmm. which seemed like a really good idea. Um, TSA did not agree. <laughs> I had this not in my so board. good for planes. No, they were like... Uh, do you have razor blades in there? I'm like, what? Uh, I totally forgotten about it. And then yeah. Picked it up. That's the worst so. when you're like, you don't want to be like, I totally have something sharp in this bag. But I'm at like, the same time, when you're like, I might, maybe, and you know, that's just the most suspicious thing in the world you can say. I mean, it'd be really hard to cut yourself on that. You got, you gotta like, you gotta pry it off. But what if you flight? What if you were? An, if you think about it, it's a compliment. They think you're enough of a ninja that you can not only get those off of there, but that you can then throw them in such a way that it would disable an aircraft. Right. Let's not talk about ceramic blades. Anyway. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> so we moved to washers after this, uh, but still a pretty cool way to carry things around. And the way we made this part is masking it and then laser etching it peeling off just the letters and hitting it with spray paint so pretty quick way to make a make a flipboard I, I like the the fact that like it's things that we do and having something with like that good of a logo on it is kind of like your own social proof social proof yeah it mm -hmm. like it's kind of like if you're a business with a good website versus a business with like just a Facebook page, you're somehow like oh, yeah. two or three degrees more legitimate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Tom. I feel legitimate. Legitimately increased. Level up. But yeah. So this is now our certification board. Certifications. You can get certified on the laser and learn all these fancy things. Uh, we have them about weekly, um, Saturdays and. Monday nights, um, and we can teach you in three hours. We'll teach you how to use our 90-watt uh, lasers, and you can cut almost anything, leather, uh, paper, plastic. Woods? What's the thickest rubber. of wood you've been ev able ever to do on that? Quarter inch. Okay. You don't want to go any, any thicker than quarter inch with the current lens. You might be able to go up to half inch. If you got a longer focal length, which you could totally do, just okay. $40 lens, but it's also really easy to stack them up like that and glue them together. So mm -hmm. cut a quarter inch and glue them up. Yeah. I mean, really anything, you can't do metal on that one right now. No. We can etch metal. So if you're just trying to get something that's metal and cool looking, do we have one of the water bottles? We do not. Okay. We have another well, room. 
Oh wait, it's right behind you. Oh hey, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So this is a powder coated um, water bottle here that has just been etched. Also known as a coffee cup. Water bottle coffee cup. You know, it's one of the things that like cool people. I'm. I don't potato, know. I'm potato. not even gonna try and it's recover that. Potato tomato. This is actually our, our first test on it. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you look closely, you can see the lines going back and forth on. Well, maybe not on camera. Anyway, come in and see <laughs> our amazing coffee water bottle. Yeah, one of a kind. Dun, dun, dun. You want to talk about your uh, your foot stomper board? So I like projects that save money. And instead of buying a $125 MIDI foot controller board, I made this. Very nice. So what this does is my other uh, gig is I do music stuff. And I do like loop music. I need to hit buttons to tell my computer when to do things. And like turn on effects and do tape loops and whatever. So this whole deal is, I don't have the back off, but there's an Arduino inside here that sends MIDI to a computer when you hit these buttons. The important part for me right now, because I'm a starving musician, is that I did this for 20 bucks in the switches, about a $10 case that I already had, and like a $7 Arduino that I already had. And saved like, you know, probably about eight hours of my own labor. Nice. But What even is that? That's... That's this, uh, that's a plate from a T three fifty automatic transmission. You know, I was gonna guess, but yeah, yeah, I was, I was totally gonna guess that. Yeah, that's that. Uh, I just I, I like automotive themed stuff, so I just like put it on there because it looks cool. There's like one guy out there who's gonna be like, "Oh, I see what you did." There. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we Very gave cool. it away. I just got a little uh, little peephole. Not enough to see inside, but just a just a little hint. Yeah, so this was the learning <laughs> experience of all this was, you know, the back of these switches is square. It's like this deep. And I had more wood here than I needed in order to hold the switch in, so I had to, like, drill a relief hole. And on these, I down here, I got smart and drilled. But on these, I tried to chisel. Uh, and at one yeah. point, I made the mistake of chiseling with, like, the chisel aligned with the grain of the wood, and it split, and I had to, like, re-glue it back and didn't have that piece anymore. Lost forever. Yes. That was a learning moment. Looks great. Looks grungy. Thank you. That was, that was what I was going for. Uh, uh, speaking of great and not grungy... Chair squeaky. <laughs> Speaking of grungy chairs and great projects, yeah. do you want to talk about journals? Yes. Oh, that was for... Yeah. No, that's for this one. No, that's for that's for now, because it's tomorrow. We're um, doing multiple of these at once and doing our best to keep it straight in our... We're going to change hats and everything. Um, <laughs> it's good, because I don't have another hat. All right, so uh, tomorrow we're going to be etching journals and doing a, a whole laser etched journal class. Uh, you don't need to bring anything. You can um, you can just register online and you'll get either a leather or a cork, which I don't have an example of, but they're also uh, really cool looking uh, cork or leather covered um, journal. And then we're going to do an exercise to look at different design ideas and what would have you like pick up that journal and want to journal every day. Or if it's like a project notebook, like what's what's an image or what's something that inspires you it could be a logo or a quote um but what would have you like oh sweet my my awesome journal i want to i want to jump on that today mm -hmm. um then we're going to design it you can either draw it or design it on the computer in inkscape um, and then we're going to etch out your design into your own custom journal notebook to-do list that's cool sketch pad do i need to know anything about a laser cutter in order to do that good question ted no nothing at all you That's can cool. come and just draw on paper, or we can teach you um, a simple vector program. Mm -hmm. to do it. And you can grab images online, too. Yeah. Uh, the black and white works best. It's not mm -hmm. grayscale, but like all black and all yeah. white. There's one color of laser. Yes. And that's laser color. 
there's well we'll get I mean technically you could do a gradient right yes it's beyond the scope of this class but you can actually etch photographs with the grayscale Mm, into wood into leather things like that but takes a little bit of tweaking and every material is different so we're sticking with just black Black and white for for this one so one laser color (laughs) for uh for the journal making class um that's so that's tomorrow tomorrow being friday the 8th yes friday the 8th so this will be published with like five hours no history (laughs) but we're gonna be doing one probably every month we're just we're still kind of fine-tuning it seeing if we can fit more people in the class getting a Mm -hmm. few more designs Actually, we just got this one, too, so if you don't want to etch a new journal every month or three, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to just come in and etch yeah. another journal, but if you want one that lasts a lifetime, you can uh, put a like a spiral notebook into this case, and then when you're done, swap it out, and it'll be usable. That's actually kind of cool. Like, I feel like this is a super subversive design because you could, like have your journal or like something super work related in there one day and then swap it out for something super fun and then people would assume you're doing the other thing (laughs) yeah actually one of the first projects i had was called a hide a pad that took Mm -hmm. a thick stack of paper and i didn't know what i was doing this was like years ago when for ipad first came out and i was Mm -hmm. like gonna get a die stamp and cut out the ipad so you could be in a meeting with a couple pieces flipped up and just like, I need to do that project now. That okay. Me. I mean, we have lasers now. That'd be uh-huh. that'd be easy. But yeah, you could be in a meeting in a classroom, you know, playing Angry Birds, plants. Yeah, plants versus zombies. Yeah. Angry Birds. Um, what have you? Cool. Nobody has to know. So yeah, uh, journal making class. If you can't get the one that's in five hours, for those of you who don't have anything to do with your Friday, get the one that's next month. Yeah. They're fun. Seaside for details. I want to go to one of those. It's going to be cool. I'll, and you can of... also, I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, registry, a, uh, what else are books? Like, yeah, like hotel registries, like sign in. Bridal guest books or wedding guest books, I guess. Mm-hmm. Gee, what else could you, I guess you could, could people do like iPad cases maybe? Ooh. That would be cool. Yeah. Like tablet. Like think of having your face in one color on your tablet case <laughs> we we actually had an amazon employee come in and do wwjbd okay what would jeff bezos do <laughs> and it had a <laughs> silhouette of jeff bezos <laughs> that's so r slash hail corporate it's great <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, 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 was, I was thinking like you could put your face like on like your iPad <laughs> yeah. and then anyone who stole it would be forever like guilted by looking at you going <laughs> nice yeah you, you took this from me mm-hmm. some guilt it's the guilt security system just right on the inside cover like I feel a little bit bad I'm gonna have to go to that etch workshop and redo it like a like a redone tattoo just gonna <laughs> yeah like yeah someone has to try and like make your face in like some famous person that they kind of <laughs> admire exactly is that is that mariah carey that's actually an interesting With idea like <laughs> you could put get like one of these super cool looking ones and put like bob marley on it i like bob marley now you got me thinking what oh, i would cool. do might have to come to our laserish journal workshop. Speaking of saying. speaking of that, um, what else is happening? Oh, by the way, I've I've got signs now. See things going on. This is that segment. This is speaking. This is like those uh, notes they have on newscasts. So they yeah. shuffle them. Like, well, here you can have that note in a very oh, attractive yeah. leather-bound folder. Let's be on, on the camera. There, there we go. Uh, today we have, there's only one other thing, it's electronics night. Okay. Uh, we are doing a, our first electronics night, and we're actually gathering data from everyone who comes in and finding out what you want to learn, uh, what tools you want to see. Um, we've been talking about a vacuum-powered solder sucker, 
Uh, by popular request, we got a reflow station, so uh, a heater and soldering gun and preheating plate. Um, we are looking at teaching soldering classes, intro to programming, um, Python, Raspberry Pi, Python classes, um, all kinds of things. So if you're if you're interested in getting involved just from the ground level up or if you just want to come and hang out and work on your electronics projects come to electronics night tomorrow mm -hmm. it is i'm gonna say six to nine thirty pretty sure checking six to eight thirty <clears throat> six to eight thirty um stay a little lighter if you're fine. it's fine we're open till 10 i don't know if the mic picks us up from here you have to kind of get cozy with the microphone. I was just saying, yeah. you can stay a little later than 8.30. It's, like it's not really that big of a secret. It's not going to be one of those like those, those YouTube videos with all whispering, is it? I don't know. We'll see. Get more views. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just the entire next pod podcast is just like candles and whispering. It's like, wow, this really got dark. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're cut off. Moving on. <laughs> That's the second dad joke you made. That. <laughs> let's let's save ourselves with the community health report. Community health report. I promise. Eventually, we'll have actual title slides. We have 79 members, and we've been open seven nine seven days. 797 almost, days, almost ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We lost a few members. People tend to come and go, you know. Yes. Every now and again, especially in a transitory city like Seattle, the mark of doing well is people leave and are still happy about you. So mm -hmm. that happens. But we want more people. Yeah. So the come and more people. Big plans people. at 100. We're going to expand. So just need 20 more people. 20 more people. 21. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a much bigger wood shop. We're already upgrading upstairs and ready to pull the trigger. Yeah. Turn the key. The space evolves to meet you. Yes. So if you want to be one of those people who is represented in your specific interests, show up and we will do cool things together. Yeah. Or we will let you sit in your corner and be an introvert and do cool things because <laughs> we understand that life. Yes. Everyone's welcome. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next week. Hmm. Yes!